What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some more news concerning David Hay. David Hay, once again, he says that Anthony Joshua versus Usyk, Usyk fighting Joshua or Chisora, Joshua would be an easier opponent than Derek Chisora, and he explained why. He said that Anthony Joshua is a, is, is a superior amateur fighter. He he uh, transitioned well in the professional uh, ranks, and he's a he's a good textbook fighter. But Usyk is the supreme fighter. That's what Usyk does. He takes the normal textbook fighter and he beats them. He finds a way angles outside of those lines of attack of those textbook fighters like Anthony Joshua and makes immense of those. He he compared it to Joe Joyce, how Joe Joyce lost to Alexander Usyk back in the day. He could get he could get big guys in there, give them some problems, work on the inside. Something that um something that uh Joshua you know, with the with, with the speed, not as fast as someone like Usyk, I could see that giving him problems. Me counter punching David Hay, he is uh, versus, oh no, versus Derek Chisora coming in you, smothering you, pounding you, giving you no time to think, to breathe, to move, to act, to react, and he gives you trouble. That's why. Now, David Hay has a point with that. Not, I'm not predicting an outcome, but I can see where he's coming from, and I'm going to explain why. Usyk fighting Joshua versus Usyk fighting Chisora, it would be exactly that way. It would be difficult for Usyk to fight someone like Chisora that's, that's doing a Sean Porter. Okay, he's coming, that bull, he's coming right at you. He is not playing with you. He's coming to, it's almost like you insulted his family when he gets in that ring. When that bell goes ding, ding, he's coming across that ring and he's doing something uh, uh, to you, okay? That's his only objective. And there's like some controlled confusion, some controlled chaos there, right? So what he wants to do is, is, is expose you. He wants to see. He wants to chin check you real early. That's Derek Chisora, okay? Now, I understand what he meant by that versus Joshua. He won't do that. He won't come in and, and, and rough you up unless he gets you hurt. Then he's a, he's a pretty good finisher. So that's the only way he's going to do that. But textbook to textbook, if we get the Anthony Joshua versus the, the uh, as as of the Ruiz two or the Anthony Joshua in the rematch, and we get that guy and we put him in there with a with a primary present Usyk right now, what will we have? You know, that's the question. We will have a boxing match. But again, like David Hay says, the superior boxing match would come down to uh, who was the better boxer if it was going to go that way. OK, and that's granted if Joshua doesn't catch Usyk with something that hurts Usyk. You know what I mean? Those could that could easily happen because, again, it's premature at this point. That's where I'm at. It's too premature to make the call. But I will say this to support the argument of David Hay. OK. If you guys can remember Erislandi Lara, when he fought um, El Perro, Alfredo El Perro and Al, Al, Angulo. When he fought Angulo, he had more problems fighting Angulo because Angulo, El Perro, he comes right at you, the dog. He came right at Lara. Lara really, he made at times he was able to attack. But the only time he got anything off is when uh, um, Angulo was outside. But as soon as he came inside, started whacking the body and throwing all types of punches, he couldn't block them all. It gave him problems. It gave him less time to react. He didn't have that time to think about setting things up. The catch and shoot was off, you know, because he's used to controlling things from the outside. And Angulo gave him problems, dropping him twice. Actually, the first person to ever drop him in his career uh, well, he wasn't the last because uh, Jared Hurd dropped him in a, in a very exciting fight, but that was the first person to do it, you know, even though Lada won, but it wasn't going to be off points, people, because Lada was on his way to losing his first fight, okay? Now, uh, well, he did lose by Paul Williams, but everybody knows that was a robbery, but anyhow, versus... Lara and Canelo. Canelo, a, a very good counterpuncher and a good boxer. He's a boxer, puncher, counterpuncher, right? 
He, Lara had a easier time with him. Why? Because it was a boxing match and he was a superior boxer. You see where I'm going with that? Like Lara was uh, uh, Alexander Usyk and Canelo was uh, Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua actually said himself is Canelo is one of his favorite fighters. So I could see a lot of that inside game and the way, you know, uh, Joshua likes to mix up those punches, those uppercuts and left hooks. Now, the question you ask yourself is, why couldn't uh, uh, Anthony Joshua catch Usyk with inside punches? Because he's not the only po the only person. Alexander Usyk is not the only person that throws and, and lands and uses inside combinations. Anthony Joshua does too. Okay, so we can't overlook that either. So I think that David Hayes' prediction once again, because I just did a video about this earlier, I think his prediction is rather one-sided on what Usyk could do to Joshua, but he has to factor in what Joshua could do to him. But anyway, I do understand it. You guys tell me what you think of uh, David Hayes' comments concerning the easier fight. Which fight do you think is easier for uh, Usyk? Would it be Anthony Joshua or Derek Chisora? Leave your comments below. Please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.